Cheers. Episode 50. Yep. Hey guys, welcome to Rose Safari. An uneducated perspective on beer reviews. I'm Jake. I'm Zach. This is Guinness. 20th? 200? 200th anniversary. 200th anniversary. Exports Wait. out. Yes. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, is. you ever had this beer before? No. no well, no, we no. sort of. We sort of have. We've had Guinness. We've had a lot of Guinness, which we like. Guinness is good. We like Guinness. Guinness is good. We like Guinness quite Guinness a bit. Guinness is good. Um, this is a little bit different. This is a throwback, which I'm very excited about. Yep. Ready to get into that beer education? Yeah. All right, so this is Guinness 200th Anniversary Export Stout. This is, it's a long name. Um, it's also 6% alcohol by volume and only 10 IBUs, so... Not that is what's going on. Not too bitter. Should be good. Um, of course, this is from St. James Gate Brewery mm -hmm. over in uh, Dublin, you know, where they make all this stuff. Um, it was originally released in 2017 to celebrate the 200th anniversary. Um, the style here is a stout. Okay. okay. And let's, let's get into what, what that 200 year anniversary really means. So, this is based on the recipe from October of 1817. Oh, right. October of 1817, 512 gallons of Guinness were sent to a main in South Carolina, mm -hmm. which was the official first time Guinness was in America. Really? So this stout doesn't celebrate 200 years of Guinness, because Guinness was back in 1614, I think. Yeah. This is the first time of Guinness in America. Got it. That's Got what it. it is. And it also came out right when they were announcing the opening of the first Guinness brewery in the U.S., okay. which is in uh, Maryland. And um, they actually use it as an experimental facility. Where they brew mostly um, the Guinness Blonde Lager, which we haven't had, um, and then also like rye pale ales and all sorts of weird stuff that yeah. they have limited runs of. You know who actually drank these like heavy beers like this primarily? Who? Sailors when they got back to port in like Maryland in that area, oh, yeah. they would drink them in bars because they're very hearty and. Oh, I bet they were into it. Yep, I bet they were. So um, and then the special about this recipe. So this is the they. This is the exact recipe from October 1817. And the big change here is that it uses black patent malt mm. instead of roasted barley. So roasted barley is what current Guinness uses which is good. for their darkness and all that fun stuff, um, which is delicious. Black patent malt is what they used before they knew about roasted barley. Mm -hmm. or they I don't know exactly the reason they didn't use the actual roasted barley before, but uh, it's roasted malted barley. It's black patent. Oh. So it's, it's you take barley that's malted and then you roast it. Got it. Roasted barley currently is barley that you just roast and then you just use. So that's black patent malt. Um, it's essentially stopped being used in most beers. It's really rare to hmm. find nowadays. But apparently popular back in the 1800s, where this beer is from. Okay. Um, and then the pairings here are uh, oysters, beef stew, and chocolate. So just felt like that was worth Chocolate? Mentioning. Chocolate. I'd like me some chocolate. Yeah. All right. Well, that's about it. You want to look at the bottle? Yeah. All right, let's look at this bottle. I like this bottle. Very old school look. Old school. Yep. 200th like anniversary it. export stout. 200 years in America. Of course, it's got the red, white, and blue. Of course. For the 200 years in America. Classic. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it just, it's just... It's a, a nice bottle. But, like, that, the only label. It's, just, it's there. It's clean. Tells you what it is. A little wordy, but... A little bit. It's okay. A little bit. Um, it lets you know that there's a... Uh, you know, deep black color. Yeah. All sorts of fun stuff. I hope it's as black as regular Guinness. I'm excited to see. Um, I'm really excited. Is. Okay, well. So let's crack them open. Let's do it. I'm going to scoot up uh, here. We didn't we mention back on the couch. Yeah. We didn't mention this yet, but it is our 50th episode today. So it we, is our 50th. That's why we're going back to Guinness. Yes. Some of you have mentioned that we should uh, re-review other older beers that we've done before. So this is sort of like that. Yes, for our 50th anniversary, we're getting a 200th anniversary stout here. Mm-hmm. Oh. As it should be. Oh, As Guinness is a be. beautiful oh. beer. Guinness is a beautiful God, beer. God, it's so pretty. It's very pretty. It's going to get high head. The only problem with this Guinness, not problem, difference, not nitrogen. No nitrogen, yeah, so the head's a little bit less. Because doesn't the Guinness have still Wait, black? Guinness? Yeah, I, I'm honestly not sure if ours was nitrogenated, the one we had. No, because it, it had the little ball in it, didn't it? I want to say it did. Yeah. No, because I was going to say, we had a really creamy head on ours. I don't know if it was nitrogen, but it had some other kind of 
some other propellant. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look. So look, it's looking good. It is looking real it's good. Looking good, as Guinness should be. The velveting is insane as usual. I don't know if it's our slightly different lighting setup, but it's looking extra dramatic. Extra dark, extra dramatic, extra octopus ink. Oh my god. Off the chain. I mean, holding it directly into the light, it's no like no light passes through. Holy, it's straight, it might be darker than the other Guinness. It might be darker. Um, it does use a different malt, so yes. you never know. Hard to say. Um, yeah, let's give it a sniff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's there's it notes smells of different. chocolate. There's like a sweeterness to it, like a a hickoriness to it. See, it smells like the Guinness we know and love, but at the same time, there's something else going it's on. It's like richer. It's richer, yeah. Oh, I like it though. Smells good. It smells I really good. like it. Um, okay, I'm ready to drink this. Let's give it a sip. Let's do it. I haven't had Guinness in a while, so. Ooh, that's good. It's definitely different. Not crazy different. So get those like chocolatey notes, that, that toasted walnutty notes. Yes, yes, you get that where the roasted, the um. It seems to be a different flavor on like the back end. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, it's almost like there's less in the back end. Less in the back end, and it tastes a little bit more burned. Mm. Not the burned metal though. Um, I was gonna say because I'm getting less of that. This doesn't seem as prevalent as the previous yeah. uh, Guinness we had. I agree. No, yeah, not a burned metal. <clears throat> um, it almost. You know what's weird? It tastes warmer. Yeah. It's not. It's I know not. it's not. No, it no, just no, came no. right out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. But regular Guinness almost tastes like like frozen bread. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It has like a like an aggressive cold to it. This is this is more like. That's what I'm saying. That's why I think, like, that's why I think this would be a choice of, of sailors who just got out of the cold sea or off the boat out of the cold sea. It's it's very hearty. Like this is just making me feel good inside. Yes. It, it's like it's got a body feel to it. Mm -hmm. Which is super weird, like a body feel to a beer. Yeah, but no, like I'm, I'm, my chest is warm. You get that too? I do. Like, I do. My stomach's warm. It feels nice. It's comforting. It's like reacting to me, yeah. and I love it. I agree. It's it's very nice. Yeah, just chill out, relax. It's, it's, it's interesting. So number fifty. Oh, I really I expected is... it to be the same, and it's nice that it's not. This smell though, it's like it smells good. I really want a candle that smells like this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that because I actually want to can because this is like it's like sweeter, it's like smoother smell. It's it's a it's definitely smellier, but not like a bad smellier. It just no, it doesn't stink up the room like Moosehead. No, that was gross. That was gross. We, we don't need to talk about that that dank beer. Moosehead's dank. Yeah, this is dank stank. This is a nice, calm, chocolatey, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bready smell. Mm -hmm. I like it. <clears throat> Which I I knew I would be good. It, so, what was the IBUs on regular Guinness? Regular Guinness, I want to say twenty-eight. I'm not it's more sure than though. it's more than ten. I want to say it's more than ten, but I I'm not a hundred. I could find out if you really want me to look it no, up. No, no, don't even worry about it. Um, but I just I I was just noticing how much sweeter it is, or not sweeter, but like, it just seems less bitter. It's easier. This is an easier. It's so smooth, Guinness, which it's is interesting. Crazy smooth. Because Guinness, regular Guinness, is aggressively smooth. Yeah. Regular Guinness is like well, top tier stout. The carbonation on regular Guinness is smoother, especially if you get the nitrogen Guinnesses, which is what we had, I believe, mm -hmm. in the cans, the tall cans. Um, but this is smoother based on just beer. I agree. This is also, this beer is pre-nitrogen. Yeah. When you think about mm -hmm. it. I, 200 years ago, they wouldn't have that, yeah, that technology. Yeah, they wouldn't have that at all. But yeah. Um, which is weird. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they liked it when they got it. The 512 gallons in South Carolina. I bet they did. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. Of, I mean, they probably forced yeah. themselves to like it. Probably. Probably Which, made themselves acquire a taste for it. It's true. By the way, fun fact: 512 gallons is called a hogshead. That specific measurement. That specific measurement. It's a hogshead of Guinness. Hmm. That's actually that's awesome. It is. Maybe we'll have to order a hogshead of our favorite beer at some point. I don't think there's every take beer a, I want 512 gallons of. What if, oh you, what, what if we just had like a beer which like this is so good we're taking a bath in it. We don't need 512 gallons to take a bath in it. That's a lot, man. That's a lot of That's a lot of That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, too, yeah. Mm. You ready to get into the numbers? Yeah. Let's yeah, do yeah. it. Let's do it. 
So okay. How how we doing on on look here? Oh, it's so good looking. It's good looking. It's good looking. I'm only giving it a nine though. The um, really is a ten, but then it's the, something about the head that throws me off a little bit because it doesn't look as similar. It doesn't have that toastiness. To also, it. the color isn't. It's more of a of a regular just off white than a toasted marshmallow. Not that, yeah, that 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 wonderful because Guinness toasted marshmallow isn't here. I don't know how they do it, but they do it so well. They do it so well. They do it so well. Um, so it, it's not quite a ten, but it's a nine. It's very good. Very dark. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, for beautiful. sure. Beautiful. Okay. So the head. Head? The head here also isn't as crazy. No. Not as crazy. It's still very good, but it's, it's, it's quite dissipated at this point. Um, the velveting is still hanging out, still nice, but... I'm gonna go with a 7. Yeah, I'm gonna go 7 too. It's, um... It's a decent head, yeah. but no, no, not a mind-blowing head no. like we had that first time. Especially because that was cool. essentially the first beer we had with a really I don't even good know, head. Compared to what we've had, though, that wasn't actually that good of a head. That was just like a, the best head we had at that point, which yeah. wasn't compared to much because we had Core, or, yeah, Coors, Miller. We had all the, we had the, some of the macros back then. I agree. So It's not like uh, Phobia, which has stood up as the craziest head we've ever had fun. on the show. We say back then, but it's only been, what, 25 months? 25 weeks. 25 weeks. 25 weeks. 25, 25, 25 months. That's a long time. Two episodes a week. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um. Episode 50. Episode 50. Episode 50. Can you believe it? No. I can believe it's, it. No, it just feels like we haven't done any at all. I feel like we barely do this at all. Maybe, hopefully, we'll, you guys will still be around for episode 500. Yeah, that'd be That's cool. the thing. 10 years from now, we're still drinking beer on the show. Yep. I mean, realistically, we don't ever have to stop doing this. Oh, I don't it's ever want to stop. It's not a particularly yeah. large time commitment. You know, people mm -hmm. seem to like it. Those yeah. 1,200 of you seem to Probably enjoy Probably a little it. more now, but uh, thank yeah. you for that, yeah. Okay. All right, so the smell. Smell. Ooh, the this smell. one smells so good. It smells good. This, this one is like a delicious smelling beer. It does smell really good. It smells like chocolatey coffee and like almost dark fruit notes and just a little bit of bread and... This has got that smell of smell. Mm -hmm. This smell is... Last time I gave a real deep inhale with my nostrils, I uh, snorted the beer, so I'm going to... you got to be careful. Yeah, it's dangerous. Beer. I think it's probably a 9. Is it I think it's a 10. I think it's a 10? I really like the way this so smells. Here, let, me, let me toss around. I here. really like the way this smells. Like, yeah, I think I think I agree with you. Like, if they had a candle for this, I would buy it. I, th I, think, it, I think it deserves that 10. That is probably the best does. smelling beer. I mean, hop, hoppy beers, they smell good, but they don't they don't have the, like that sweetness that like I wouldn't necessarily want to like my test of a good smell is would I want a Yankee candle made after that? I agree. That is also my test. Yeah, yeah. Bed Bath and Body Works it's style a, lotions and all yes. that stuff. Would you apply this to your skin or, or have this lid in a room? I don't know if I want this as a lotion, but as a candle, yes. Mm, I might even rock this as like a hand lotion because it's kind of a masculine smell. A little bit. You know what I mean, it's n there's nothing I, I feminine could, yeah, about I could it. Do it. So like as a as like a moisturizer for for guys, a man's hand cream or something like that. Yeah. Like a little bit of aftershave. Oh, a two hundredth anniversary Guinness aftershave. Now there the ladies go. would love that. That's where it's at. Yeah. Mhm. Mm All right. So the feel, the feel. mouth feel. Oh God, we're going off today, aren't we? Mouth feel. It is fantastic. Um, mm hmm. See, that carbonation that isn't, the, it's got like, it gives it like a little bitterness up front. It does. Which I'm not a fan of particularly. It does have a little bitterness up front, but it's extremely good. And then also there's a little bit of bitterness on the end, but it's not a burnt metally, it's just a regular bitterness. Regular bitterness, yeah. And it, for me, that puts this at an 8. It puts it an 8? An 8. See, I think it's a 9. Really? Uh, I think it's very little negative for a very lot of positive. I actually, I might like this a little bit better than regular Guinness. Really? I might, um, just, because regular Guinness is so, it's just so good. Regular Guinness, you don't get that, like, like if you had a carbonated water, like seltzer water, unflavored, there's a bitterness from the carbonation, it's like a mouth, it's like a feel of bitterness. There is. That is presenting in a very similar way that this does. I agree. Is why I don't like, because I'm not a big fan of that, that doesn't See, for appeal me, to me. I don't like that, like, weird icy feel yeah. that you get from regular Guinness. And oh, I mean, I like it, but it's it's not. I don't really like it. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm don't, not a don't, big fan. Don't pretend. Um, so no this is like Guinness without that weird iciness. See, this which is, is like, like I like. It's weirdly warm. It's it's a good temperature beer, but it's weirdly warm to me. I'm it not is like weirdly warm. I liked it at first, but now I'm like, I kind of want something cool. No, I like it. So I put I, this coat on, and now I'm getting, and I'm like, you getting warm? Whew. Yeah. 
Well, Guinness is always one of those like misleadingly strong beers. Yeah. Where it's like it'll get you. It'll sneak it'll up get on you, you even though it's not very strong. Mm-hmm. All right. So the taste itself. It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's a nine for me. I think it's a nine too. Easily. I think it's a nine too. Mm. You yeah. know what's crazy about it? this one doesn't coat your mouth. It doesn't coat your mouth. Um I'm not getting any toothiness. It's weird. It's like a stout that doesn't have all the standard characteristics of a stout. Even though it's so thick and dark. When yeah. you pour it, it pours slower than a regular beer. It does. But it's not I think it might be that black patent malt. Because the the ro- regular roasted barley mm-hmm. is just dominates the stouts nowadays. Oh really? It's all that it's made from. So having a different main ingredient to the mm-hmm. stout yeah. really seems to have modified it in a way that I really like. I, I'm gonna have to search out some more beers that have black pet malt in them. I agree. We should do that. But uh, just yeah. to see uh, the use of the ingredient. Um, so yeah. So how are you feeling uh, on the word? What 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 kind of word are you using for this? Hmm. Classic. Classic. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um. Well. It feels so old school. There's something about this that just feels like... It does feel old school. I don't know if old school is the right word, but it feels like... I can't think... It's like a throwback. Yes. Yeah. 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 It feels like better times. Better times. Back in the 1800s. No, like seriously though. Let's be honest, it was more simple in the 1800s. It was simpler. Um, you know... Weirdly enough, I don't think this is a simpler beer, though. No. I think this one might be a little more complicated than your standard Guinness. You know what? But, like, it makes me feel like... It makes me feel comfort. It's, like, comforting. It is. It's, it's like junk food. I love it. Yeah, it's like a soul food beer. This is, yeah, this is a beer you, when, you're, when you just want to just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it's comforting. Comforting. I like that. Comforting. I don't know why. Just that warmth, that over... That warmth I'm getting all over is... It's nice. Like you know, it. I'm gonna agree with you on that one. Um, it's a nice, relaxing, chill, yeah, chill experience. Um, this is something I drink over the course of like an hour. Yeah, yeah, Just no, sip it's, on it it's thirty minutes to an hour. Not a quick drink. Um, it doesn't need to be. Not yeah. trying to be. Honestly, it's it's a very different cold kind of winter thing. night, sitting by the fire. Yeah, it a, is weird. It went to South Carolina first. You know? Did it? I thought you said it went to like Maryland. No, no, Maine. Maryland's where they have the new brewery. Oh, okay. This beer. Was imported to South Carolina. What? I know, right? It's like warm there. It's a weird climate to have Guinness in. You want like light beers because when it's hot. I associate Guinness with cold weather. Yeah, well, I feel like all heart, like I feel like all thicker beers, like porters, stouts. Mm-hmm. That's about it. The thick beers. That's why they're big in Ireland. It rains all the time and it's cold there. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. I'm, uh, in Aquaman, him and his dad when they were at the bar. Well, you've never seen the movie, but they're at the bar in the beginning. They were both drink Guinness. I know this because there were the taps at the bar had little Guinness logos on them. Yep. And they were down in Guinnesses, so Guinness is good, man. Aquaman approved. Aquaman approved. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, and that goes for where would you drink this? Cold climates. Where it is. A nice relaxed bar setting. I would drink this. Like honestly, I would drink this after coming in from the cold. Mm-hmm. Any any time you're coming in from the cold, if you don't like want a hot beverage, you want a beer to kind of relax yeah. a little bit. Coming in from the cold, because I would def like this one in particular. Because mm-hmm. you're right, the nitrogen one, the regular Guinness, it's got a coolness to it. It's got a chillness to it. You don't get that warmth. You don't get the warmth. Um, Which, this is a little different. Yep. I, I I'm gonna be honest. I find because I really like regular Guinness. Mm-hmm. Like I really like it, but I I do find this version a little bit more pleasant. Mm-hmm. Um, well, depending on the weather is what I would choose. Is how I choose. Yeah, this one would be more pleasant in the summer. Yeah, no. But um, I just be like. Mm-hmm. But like right this second, I find it's very pleasant. Because yeah, it's a cool, windy night right now, and it's just it's quite yeah. good. It's a relaxing, relaxing beverage. I like. Oh it. yeah. Okay. All right, that's about it. It wraps it up. It wraps it up. Wraps episode, up episode fifty. Yes. That's it. We did it. We did fifty. We did fifty. We did. 50. We're done. Just kidding. Yep. So, um. Hopefully, we'll keep this going for a while. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. A lot of you already subscribed, and a lot of you always already like. Yeah, we appreciate everything. Yeah, you got us to fifty. Amazing, we wouldn't have done it without you guys. So nah, we would have kept going. I mean, I don't. People would have people would have jumped on eventually. That's true. Well, get also, your friends involved. 
I tell you what, I'm have I'm doing this for me at this point right now. I'm all stoked. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm still trying to expand my beer palette, trying to find what I like. I agree. I mm -hmm. I definitely am enjoying yep. going through the beers, drinking, oh, yeah. them, trying Just new things, in, having nice little chats. You know, all that fun stuff. A little bit of brotherly bonding. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looking at cool bottle caps. Oh yeah, these are some classy <laughs> bottle caps. We'll have to put that on the rotator when we record the stock footage. I'll just set it on the top. Or not, like, leaning against it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, yeah. if you liked, leave a like. If you liked it a lot, leave a subscribe. If you really liked it. If you really, really, really liked it. Smash that bell. Smash it! Never miss an episode every Tuesday and Thursday. Yep. Showtime between midnight and 3 p.m. Yep. See you guys next time. Later. Here are the scores for today's beer. Here's how it stacked up against other beers we've reviewed.